This video is best viewed in full screen. Hello, and welcome to the second edition of Learn C Sharp. Today, we're going to go through uh, comments and variables and constants. First, we're going to go through comments. A comment is just a, a section of your source code that will get ignored by the compiler and will be removed before your program is actually created. There are two general types of comments. You have the double forward slash or the double slash and that kind of comment actually is includes the rest of that current line. So if you wanted to put a comment after a block of I mean after a statement so you put a double forward slash and it'll comment out the rest of that line. You have a second type which is, has a forward slash and star and then is ended with a star and forward slash. That's a block comment. It's actually used to comment out a block of text or code. I occasionally do that when I need to block out, I mean, uh, comment out like a function to recreate it. Usually I only do stuff like that if I'm testing a new format and want to keep the original code. Another thing with the uh, block comments is people oftentimes make a header on their source code which will contain copyright information and I'll show you that when we get to the uh, source code section of this tutorial. There is a third type of comment but I will go more in depth over it later and that is a triple forward slash this is used for documentation and I will show you more of the IntelliSense when we get to the uh, code section of this tutorial. Actually, now we're going to learn about variables and constants. Both variables and constants are values with names assigned to them. They can contain any letter A through Z and both caps and small they can contain any number and they can contain the underscore character which is that right there they cannot start with a number and in C sharp case matters that is uppercase and lowercase so thus the names count in all small letters and count with the C capital that is a capital letter both refer to, to two different variables or constants. Do's and don'ts. Do use variable names that are descriptive. Do adopt and stick with a style for naming your variables and constants. Don't name your variables or constants with all capital letters unnecessarily but I do normally name my constants with all capital letters but that's from my C days and another note C sharp supports a Unicode character set which means that letters from any language can be stored and used you may you can also use any Unicode character to name your variables and constants in C and C++ that's not true because it only accepts A N S I I that only covers like your basic English and unless you use code pages other characters but that's way too advanced and we don't have to worry about them to declare a variable it is usually uh, some type in this case I demoed it with an int and some value, uh, some variable name. Uh, to declare a constant, just put a const at the beginning of it. And remember, all constants are static. More into that in another chapter when we learn about classes. And then in uh, your uh, type some constant equals and then you have to have some value constants must be declared at that time and a read only value uh, which is read only your type and then some read only value uh, name 
read-only values can all can be either initialized uh, with a value at the point you declare it or in the constructor and once again I'll get into constructors when we learn about classes okay now we're covering the code section of the tutorial I've already generated and wrote 90 percent of the code that I'm going to show you up here I have declared global functions for the class of program one called variable the constant called constant and a read-only value called uh, read-only I also put comments after all the variables so that you can see how comments are meant to be uh, used the constant value is the maximum integer value by, use, uh, by using the value of max value in the class of int and the read-only value is the minimum value uh, I also created an int uh, with the word God in Cyrillic, which is what Russians and other Eastern European languages use. And it made it a value of 12. And at the top of int, I have declared variable equal to 22. I have also made four calls to council.writeline showing you uh, how to display variables inside of strings it is important to note that uh, you must have the dot to string which is available in all classes even custom classes if you merge uh, your variable in with a string like I have here basic arithmetic like plus minus division and multiplication can be used with your number values and the plus sign is used to merge two strings together and make one string out of it I also showed you how you can uh, do the same thing with just a number right here but if you do it with a number you have to have the number inside parentheses another note if you uh, do arithmetic with integer values make sure you uh, if you have like you want to do addition first and then multiplication make sure you put the addition part inside of parentheses otherwise it will do multiplication first uh, now I'm going to show you IntelliSense oh I also put another console dot right line showing you that how to use uh, like other languages and that they'll work now I'm going to show you IntelliSense Whoops. this box right here the second I started typing this is an IntelliSense window for code completion as you can see council says represents the standard input output and error streams council applications and then this class cannot be inherited I'll get into inheritance in a later chapter when I do classes you can use tab if you're on that one section of code to just instantly complete it and when you hit a dot and another IntelliSense window that's similar to it will come up and again all the information is there so just hit I'll hit tab and when you open up to begin a function you can see that it'll tell you all the different parameters I'm not going to put anything and that'll just put an, uh, a blank line in between up here and down here we're going to compile okay it, we're done and it'll say uh, variable 12, uh, 22 constant and it'll give you the value read only the same thing now I don't understand why but cons uh, the console window does not display Unicode characters very well I don't know if it's because Microsoft probably still uses uh, ASCII for it or what 